Hi guys, welcome to this little episode we're going to do for you today. We're going to talk about the ARB recovery bag. Um, we're going to go through what's in the bag um, and then I'm going to get Carl to set up a little scenario of my truck. Um, we're going to show you how to use everything that's in the bag. So um, if you like this video, give us a little like. Um, but yeah, let's start going through it. Right guys, I'm just going to fly through this bag now and show you everything that's inside, okay? So we'll work from, well, let's start with these gloves. These don't come in the kit, but we've added these. Real nice gloves from ARB. Um, we've then got a nice big long snatch strap for when you need to give your, give your friends a tug out. Um, uh, the other thing at the front is a winch recovery damper. Um, whack that on a winch line um, when you're doing a winch recovery. And if it, something breaks, that will drop everything to the ground. It's really safe. Um, then in the back, we have a tree trunk protector. What can also be used as a bridle. Um, have a winch extension strap in case you get stuck where you don't have anything to whack the winch onto. That will give you a nice long extension to a tree that's a bit further away so you don't have to use all your winch line. Uh, in the side we then have a nice big snatch block. Um, what else have we got? In this side is the gloves that actually come with the kit. Some nice leather ones. And on the other side we have two rated shackles. Um, so this, it, to be honest, is pretty much all you need to get yourself out of strike. Right, I'm now gonna hand you guys over to Carl. He's gonna go set some scenarios out on the wild rig, um, show you how to use it all and um, how to use everything correctly, different scenarios for each thing. So let's head over there and have a look. So it doesn't take much for your mate in the L200 to get stuck, but fortunately we got the ARB premium recovery kit. And I'm gonna go through all the little bits of this kit and set up this scenario, show you how to use each element to get yourself out of strife successfully. So probably the bit of kit that we use the most is a good old snap strap. Now these come with big old warning on them for good reason, because there's plenty of stuff all over the internet about snatch recovery has gone wrong. If you use correctly, these things are awesome. They build up so much kinetic energy that when your mate in the L200 is bitten off a little bit more than you can chew, you can fling it out, put it straight on to a rated recovery point. What I like to do, I like to do it at, just back it off, quarter turn. Attach the other end to the stranded vehicle. Leave a little bit of slack, build up a bit of momentum and pull the recovered vehicle out. Super good. Worth knowing, they do have a limited use because obviously you're using that stretch energy and you've got to let them recover between recoveries get that stretch back but brilliant bit of kit when you use these it's an absolute game changer normally first thing we do we find a good anchor point that we can recover the vehicle off it might be another vehicle like Big D or it might be a nice suitable tree it's not rotten sometimes you just got to see what you can find but conveniently there's a nice tree over there that we're going to use as an anchor point so what we need first thing is first we've got to protect the tree and that's the tree protector so this is the ARB Recovery Tree Protector. It's bright green and it's an absolute beast. Rated at 12,000 kg, 12 ton. Um, it's obviously a non-stretch strop. Um, because we're trying to go for a nice, flat, straight pull, we can put the anchor down, strongest point of the anchor, and that's as low as possible. Obviously, if we were uh, on an angle, trying to winch uphill, I'd try and get the recovery point as high as possible. So you saw there, I just adjusted the two sleeves. So what that allows the strap to do is bind to the tree, but also allow the strap to move without damaging the cambium of the tree here. So we've got our protector. Now we need to hook up the winch. So for this recovery, we're going to keep it straightforward and simple. We're just going to do a straight line pull. 
as I said, if the truck was too far away, we can use this absolute beast winch recovery uh, extension strap. You can see how long it is here. Also really good, if you need to extend the winch strap, you need to do a double line pull. But we'll do a little bit more of that in a moment. But for now, grab your bow shackle, make sure it's nice and flat around the base of the anchor point. Insert that, and quite often what we find it's easier just to insert the, uh, the hook and feed the pin through. Again, do it at back it off quarter turn. And we generally have a safety rule. As soon as that's connected, no one steps over that line. And there's one thing missing before we start the winch. You can wind in a little bit of the winch. And since this point, you want to put the recovery blanket. There's a lot of debate about where this should go, but we're firm believers it should go at the heaviest point of the, uh, of the recovery, whichever that bit may be. And for us right here, it's where the bow shack on the hook is. This just sits really nicely over the winch rope. Velcro together. And what you can actually do with the deluxe bag the belt and braces, it's a much bigger bag, you can fill that up with rocks or whatever and actually strap that over the rope as well as added protection. And then make sure everyone stood well back, dragging the truck along effortlessly. No bother at all, how good is that? So guys, you set up a straight line pull, you found a really good anchor, but the truck is just, just not budging. And some of you guys may be wondering, why some of these straps and blocks are rated so highly for something that is realistically two and a half, maybe three and a half ton. And yet all our recovery equipment is rated a lot higher than that with a safety factor built in as well. The reason for that is when a truck gets bogged down, although it's only a couple of ton, the suction that's involved in that can often double its weight, its effective weight when you're trying to recover it. So what do you do then? Well. You pull out your ARB 9000 kg snatch block and you rig this up. And what this effectively does, by doubling up your uh, winch rope line, you double the pulling capacity of that winch rope. And that is why everything needs to be rated a lot higher than just the standard rate of your vehicle. So let's rig this up. So we know this is gonna be a big pull. It's gonna be a big recovery of this. Got a nice strong anchor. We've got our tree protector, come down to our bow shackle, and we open that up. What we need to do is essentially get our winch rope, feed it through the recovery pulley block. And again, it's just what we do. We do it at back of our quarter turn. We make sure the bow shackle end, the bow of the shackle is on the strop and the pin is on the block side. And that means we can then run the winch back to the rate of recovery point. Like that. And take up the slack. So now that you've taken up the slack, same again. Get your winch blanket, your recovery blanket over the heaviest part. And this is where you've got to be really serious about the consequences of what can go on here. You've got some extreme forces and a lot of potential for things to go wrong. You want to make sure everyone is outside the, what we call the kill zone. So any swing radius, should anything snap, and this would be a really good time to either use this recovery blanket or use the extra weighted deluxe bag itself to make sure if anything does snap, it gets dampened straight away. Now we can talk about truck recoveries all day long, but there's just one more subject that we'd like to talk about in our recovery package. 
and that's the use of soft shackles. These things are awesome. We love them for a couple of reasons. Not only are they super simple to use, but they're also a whole bunch safer. Purely and simply, in the event that anything should tragically snap, go wrong, you've got one less lump of metal flying through the air. Check this out. Your old mate in the L200 is stuck up there. You're throwing him out the recovery snap strap. You get your soft shackle. You're straight through. Through the strap. Over the monkey's fist knot. Make sure it's milked through, as they call it. And you're good to go. Soft shackle both ends and all that kinetic energy, it's a lot safer from the get-go. How good is that?